A warm welcome to Business Bites. I'm Neo Maruatuna. The JAC ended the day marginally weaker on 32,788 points. We spoke to Simon Fillmore from Independent Securities looking at the day's trade. I think uh, the key feature there, probably nothing uh, particularly strong in, in either way. Um, that uh, announcement from China on the uh, last day of their, the, their week-long holiday seemed to catch the market unawares. Uh, but I guess, um, you know, in, in the long run, it is a, uh, it is a good decision. Uh, and it just means that uh, uh, people in China will look more to keep their money in deposits rather than speculating in uh, equity and property. The NEC ended the day nearly 1% weaker at 26,409 points. We spoke to Mandela Toyo from Am Investment Managers looking at reasons behind the bearish trend on the market. In terms of the sentiment we've been seeing over the last mm -hmm. um, week or so, I just think it's a situation where there's, um, there's really been an absence of news. Um, at the beginning of the year, we had some positive news out of um, Amcon and right. signing um, of, the, um, of, of the transfers of, of some of the, the bad loans. But now we have a situation where we haven't quite gotten results um, and there's a bit of a lull in the market. There's been a postponement of right. Amcon's day to actually issue bonds um, to take up some of the, uh, the loans. So I think in the, in the absence of activity or in the absence of, um, of positive or, or negative news, right. um, the market um, and market participants are just looking to take a bit of the profits they've made since the beginning of the year. The NEC 20 closed down almost 8% to end the day on 4,383 points. For an update on the market, we spoke to Kenneth Mijere, first income dealer at Jenkins Capital. Basically, what we've seen a lot of um, foreign investors really reduce their participation. Basically, I think because of the crisis going on in Egypt and also a lot of um, political wranglings locally. So, um, what Okay, there were fund managers and local investors maybe were a bit active yesterday and today the market was rather stagnant except maybe for some stocks that came down such as Barclays and we saw a few big trades such as uh, Kennel that traded 3.5 million shares. For more news and videos go to abndigital.com.